discussed what are locators what are they used for locators are addresses of elements on the web page similarly in automation code we use locators for identifying web elements uniquely on a web page there are a lot of elements in the web page but if i want to identify a specific element uniquely nothing but differently with other element then i can go for locators and after identifying you will perform certain actions clicking getting a text of that particular element getting the attribute which you want like there are lot of actions which you can perform on those web elements these are the things which locators will perform and coming to types of locators normal locators customized locators in the previous class we have discussed normal locators some of the normal locators id name link text as well as partial link text in today's class we will discuss class name tag name as well as css selectors css selector is a customized locator but with the help of these combinations of normal locators tag name id class and tag and any of the attribute which you see in the html code with these combinations you will try to write css selector very easy and another important point every element in the html code has a tag name and each element have certain attributes those attributes can be id name link text or partial link text class name or tag name other than this there are lot of attributes which you can see in the html code but these are native to selenium we can identify with these attributes in selenium because we have these respective methods in the selenium and you can also try to identify with the other attributes which you see in the html code that we will discuss in the css selector as well as in the xpath and each attribute has a value value or values each attribute has a value these are the points which we discussed in the previous class and another important point up to now we have seen id name link text and partial link text most of the times used to identify a single web element so there will be any element if you want to identify that element nothing but a single web element most of the times you will use id name link text or partial link text because for every element most of the times mostly most of the times attributes which you see in the html code are unique unique means different from one element to another element so you can use id name link text or partial link text for identifying that web element now if i want to find more elements not a single web element if i want to find more than one web element if i say more than one web element it is treated as an object id name link text partial link text used to identify a single web element but instead of single web element if i want to identify multiple web elements at a time which those multiple web elements are treated as an object we can identify object which is a multiple web elements not a single web element multiple web elements we can go for class name as well as tag name locators in the selenium we have class name as well as tag name methods for identifying any elements multiple web elements in the web page by this you will not understand anything let me walk through any one website let me go through incognito let me take facebook facebook.com so if you see in the facebook.com 
you will have email address or phone number element text box this is as well as password is also a text box and login is a button forget and password is a link create new account is also a link you can identify like this go to inspect take this highlighter and click here you can see it is a link because every link is having a tag as a fine that will be fine and most of the times id name link text partial link text are different but coming to class name as well as tag name those are same for multiple elements for a single element these are unique every time but for multiple web elements there may be a chance that multiple web elements will have a class name same class name same tag name you will see nearby go to here in the incognito here if you can see these are the text boxes and this is the link right if you can observe for this class or for this element you will have class attribute for this tag name is input type is one attribute class is one attribute name is one attribute you have id as well data test id is another attribute placeholder is another attribute likewise for every element there is a tag name there are multiple attributes and each attribute will have certain value value or values why i am saying values you can see here type is equal to text only one value but coming to class you have multiple attributes multiple values input to text is one value they have given space here if you have if you see space you can think of like is it is having multiple values so you can identify this element by input to text or by using underscore 55r1 or there is a space and thereafter underscore 61 ui you can use any of the values of the class class attribute and you can find this particular element fine let me take input to text control f let me find input text if you observe input text this is the value of this particular class is pointing two elements one of two what you are seeing here this is the first one and what is the other element go to here click enter you can see another element so two elements two different elements having same class name having same class name you can observe here so by using class name i can find two web elements if you see id here and here for email id is email for password text box id is pass these are unique but tag name as well as class name most of the times will be same for multiple elements in this case you have two elements only or you can take go to this particular footer and you can observe what are the tag names they are having as well as class names take this highlighter or go to this any uh, links here if you can observe these are multiple elements if you see this is hindi link this is some another language link Udu link and this is tamil link when i point my mouse here when i mouse over here you can observe the element is highlighting and similarly this is bengali and similarly likewise you have multiple elements for this multiple elements the tag name is a tag name is a so when a tag name is a it is a link and if you observe multiple elements multiple elements are having same tag name are having same tag name a and if you can observe the class name the value of the class for the same elements underscore sv4 this is for urdu underscore sv4 underscore sv4 likewise multiple elements having same tag name and same class name so by using tag name as well as class name we can find multiple web elements when i say multiple web elements those are nothing but objects those are nothing but objects then for finding single web element you have used find element method you have used find element method but it by using this class name locator or by using this tag name locator it will return multiple web elements it will return multiple web elements 
So if it is returning multiple web elements instead of driver dot find element, since it is a plural, I can use find elements. Let me note that each and every point so that you can understand. So find element versus find elements. See in the automation code, most of the times we have written up to now find element method. When I use find element method, it will only find single web element. But when I use find web elements method, it will find multiple web elements. So when that locator is finding multiple web elements, then I can use find elements method. Mostly when I use class name as well as tag name, I can use find elements method. Find element method will return a single web element. So we can use send keys method, click or text. But find element method will return multiple web elements. These multiple web elements are nothing but object. I can consider that as a list. When I use or when I find any element or any elements by using class name as well as tag name, I can use find elements method because class name tag name returns multiple web elements. For finding multiple web elements, I can use find elements, not find element. Very important interview question. When I use find elements method, it will return multiple web elements. And those elements are stored in the form of a list, list collection. Very important point. Since by using class name or by using tag name, it will return multiple web elements in the form of a list, list collection or list. So we have to use find elements method. Very important point. What is the difference between find element and find elements? Find element method will return a single web element and we can perform any action, send keys, click text or anything which I want. But coming to find elements, it will return multiple web elements. If I want to find multiple web elements, I can go for find elements method. So this find elements method will return in the that multiple elements in the form of a list. When I say list, it is enclosed in square brackets separated by comma. Those each web element. Then another important point. Another important point. By suppose, by mistake, this class name and tag name anyway returns multiple web elements by mistake instead of find elements if you use find element method locator will return only the first element only the first element these are important points i will make you understand with an example don't worry right if element is not visible find element method will throw no such element exception if there is a locator and that locator is not able to find any element on the web page it will throw no such element exception but if the locator which you are using is not able to find any element find elements method will not throw any exception but it will return zero very important point find element method will throw no such element exception but find elements method will return zero it will not throw any exception these are the major differences which you can expect any interviewer may be asking you what are the differences between find element as well as find elements method we will see these examples points with examples one by one don't worry now how you can use find elements when you are finding any element by class name or by using tag name so the syntax is same suppose suppose you have multiple elements which this particular locator is able to identify then in the similar way when you use find element method when you want to identify any element by using id name link text or partial link text you have used by dot id 
or by dot name. In the similar way, you can use by dot class name, by dot tag name. There is no difference, but instead of find element, you need to use find elements method. And since this particular script or the statement will return multiple web elements. When I say find elements, we'll return multiple web elements. And these are stored or will be returned by these find elements in the form of a list. What I'm say, store, doing here, I'm storing that list in one variable. Even tag name also returns multiple web elements. So what I'm doing, since this tag name can be different, in this case, I have taken A. When I say A, links, all links in the particular web page will be returned by this find elements method. And I have stored in the form of a list in the links variable. So instead of links, you can give any another name, whatever you want. Or you can see here, instead of the input to text, you can also use this particular thing. So when you use underscore sv4, it will try to identify the elements which it is having class name as or value of the class attribute as underscore sv4. So it is based on your requirement. If you want to identify these elements or if you want to identify anything, you can go whatever the attributes you have. But right now, since it is of class name as well as tag name as well as CSS selectors, we are seeing this here. Let me go to PyCharm. Let me create a directory of day 19. Let me create one Python file locators to. So since this is not the Python file, let me delete this. This it is a package. Python file locators to. So when I say dot py file, it is a nothing but a module. So Every time when you want to write an automation script, first thing you need to do is you need to import web driver from Selenium import web driver. So you are trying to find an element by the locator name. So you need to specify that locator. How you will specify? You will use by and in this method you will have ID, name, class name, link text, or partial link text, or by XPath or CSS also. So, for making that script to understand whether it is an XPath or ID or name, you need to use by dot that particular locator name. And for importing that locator name, you need to have by by method. So, what I am doing here, I am just importing that by also from Selenium dot in the Selenium we have a driver. In this web driver, we have common methods. In the common, we have by. We can import by here, like this. Similarly, since I am working or executing the script, or you can execute script in multiple browsers, right now I am only confining to Chrome browser. So the same in the same way, you can use for Edge as well as Firefox browsers. So in the web driver, I have Chrome options. So Chrome options are nothing but desired capabilities of that particular browser. So what I'm doing, I'm trying to take or assign this to a variable options. So in the Chrome options, I have experimental option. For this, I need to pass detach. And I should make this as always true. When I make this as always true, when I open a browser window, it will be in open position until unless I give the close command. Driver dot close. Since I have not defined any driver, let me try to define that as well right now until unless i give close command the browser window will not be closed when i use this add experimental option and when i make it true for the detach let me initialize a driver variable driver is equal to so i am just initializing a driver variable so for what i am initializing in the web driver i have a chrome browser so in the, for the Chrome browser, I need to pass the desired capabilities. So for options argument, I need to pass options. Or instead of options, if you have any confusion, you can use opt or any suitable name which you want. So you should be very careful when you are using the names. It should be case sensitive. Webdriver.chrome as well as Chrome options. If you see, C is capital case.
and you have initialize of the driver variable and with the help of driver variable you can open the url and you can maximize the windows or whatever the things which you want to do whatever the actions you can do you can perform those let me try to driver dot get get method or a function will open that particular url what is the url i'm trying to use facebook i'm trying to open facebook let me use that http is dot facebook dot com and after opening i need to maximize the window for everything you need to use driver variable driver dot maximize window so let me try to execute this script after now and and it has opened this particular facebook.com it has maximized that browser fine and i want to find the elements in the footer this is nothing but the page footer and in this page footer you can find lot of links here each link will have tag name as a and you can have multiple attributes and one of the attribute is class you can try to find these multiple web elements by using class name as well as tag name also we will see in a while so before this let me try to inspect if you inspect any of the element in the footer you can get this like there are multiple elements link elements you can have for the links tag name as a similarly if you go for text or language links you can have a as a tag name or it has multiple attributes out of that class is also one of the attribute so let me try to find these multiple elements by using class name so for this class name i have underscore sp4 is the value similarly you can identify any element not only this you can identify any element on any web page not only in facebook or amazon flipkart or any web page you want let me try to find that elements so for this driver dot since i am using class name always a class name or a tag name will return multiple web elements you can think of as class name as a classroom so in a classroom you have multiple children multiple students so when i say classroom it means it's a collection of students similarly here when i say a class name so under that class multiple elements are defined in that particular web page so don't confuse here driver dot find elements when i use when i am using class name i should use definitely elements when i say classroom it will return multiple students it will nothing but it is nothing but multiple students so multiple students are nothing but i can say find elements here not element here i am not referring a single student i am referring multiple students when i say multiple students it's a plural so similarly when you use class name it will return multiple web elements when i say multiple web elements you need to use find elements instead of find element find elements you will if you use find element it will return first element let us see that proof in a while driver dot find elements so by you need to find that particular element by class name so by dot class name and for that class you have the value is underscore sp4 so it is underscore sp4 and since you are using find elements method it will return multiple web elements in the form of a list i'm just assigning this to a name elements you can give of any name here elements i'm just assigning this multiple web elements nothing but in the form of a list for this list i am just giving that as elements so let me count how many elements are present and let me try to print the list collection and let me try to print each element individually if you can use these particular methods it will do appropriate actions total sliders when we are discussing a list if i want to count any element or how many elements are there in the list i can use length method when i use length method it will try to return me how many elements are present since it anyway returns multiple web elements i have assigned this to a variable elements i'm just counting each element in this particular list similarly i'm just printing that list elements is the list collection so i am just printing that and i'm just printing each element in the list counting the list printing the whole list and printing each element in the list let me try to execute if you can see here 
upon opening the browser it has maximized the window browser window and if you see in the console you have total 10 elements so i have just to given the name as sliders you can give any another name just for your convenience so how many elements are matching class name as underscore sv4 if you can go here and if you can see in this particular web page in the console or in the html code control f control v it is matching 10 web elements with this class name so the same total count is 10 that has printed what are those total uh, elements so since this find elements method will return multiple web elements in the form of a collection so that is the reason it is a collection and inside the collection these are multiple web elements these are multiple web elements and in the collection you are just printing each web element one by one first web element second web element third web element which are there in the list you are just printing one by one in the similar way you can also go for tag name also if you can see i want to find how many links are present let me comment this in this particular web page there are multiple links i want to find how many links are present i can go for tag name so for every link tag name is a so i can use simply tag name as a just i am just finding links here if you want to find any other element you can find any another element like by using tag name but right now what i want to do i want to just find how many links are present if you can see every link will be having tag name as a when i say this syntax you will not understand when we are discussing expert you will get to know don't worry right now so when i use this particular locator it is pointing total 47 okay 47 elements so these 47 elements are links links are nothing but having tag name as a so the same i am just finding the links by using tag name here it has returned 47 elements i want to just just try to count how many links are there and as we discussed for every link you will have link text for every link you will have link text so instead of printing each and every element i want to print the link text so let me try to make you understand this so by using tag name it will return multiple web elements in the form of a list i have assigned it with a name as links so i'm just counting how many links are present and what are the links let me try to close these browsers let me execute the script one more time if you can see total links which we have seen in the html code is 47 the same 47 has been printed and it will return in the form of a list so that is the reason why you are seeing the list collection here and inside the list multiple web elements are present which are separated by comma and if i want to print each and every web element i can go for for loop for link in links instead of just printing this one by one for links especially i can have text nothing but link text i can also say it is an inner text inner text is not a link text but link text is a inner text because not only for links you can have multiple elements which are having inner text but only for links you can have link text so i want to find or print for each and every link the link text which is having it is nothing but a inner text so if i want to access inner text i can use link dot text method you can use link dot text method so i can use print function print of link dot text so when i say link dot text it will try to print link text which is nothing but a inner text this text method will return inner text since for every element you will have link text also it will try to print that inner text which is nothing but a link text here don't confuse link text is different inner text is different for only links you will have link text but that link text is also is nothing but an inner text so inner text can be having for multiple elements including links that is the only difference if you can try to re-execute that script it will try to print the text for each link so these are the text for each link so in this way you can find multiple elements by using tag name as well as class name another important point 
right now i'm making you understand this point when i use find element method i can perform any action send keys or click or text anything when that locator is written in a single web element but here you will not perform those actions on the list if, if you want to perform any action you need to access that but each and every element in that particular link or list and you can perform click action or send a text if it is a text box or you can do any action what you want if it is a single web element but if it is a multiple web element you cannot do that on that particular list collection so you need to access each and every element and you need to perform the actions which you want so only those actions can be performed on single element so when you use find element you can do that or when you are accessing each and every element by using for loop then you can perform those actions if required another important point instead of find elements if we use find element method locator will return only the first element if you see here you can do the same for the class name also take this as assignment i am just making you understand with the tag name so when i use find elements it is just returning multiple elements in the form of a list when i say find element instead of find elements if i use find element it will only return the first element if you see let me try to use this here control v let me try to comment this so this is the first element <coughs> of this list collection instead of find elements if i use find element let us see how it will behave let me try to comment this let me try to print print of links i am just using find element instead this tag name which is a will return multiple web elements but instead of that i am using find element method so it will return only first element you see this is the first element which it is returning so before when we are using find elements method this is the first element but anyway if you see here it has only printed the first element which at that time that particular locator is returning so when you use find element instead of find elements it will return only it will return only first element in this way you can use tag name as well as class name another important point very important point if this particular locator is not matching any element in the web page then find element method will throw no such element exception but find elements method will not throw any exception instead it will return zero first case is this particular suppose let me try to give this particular locator this particular locator will not match any element so find element method will throw no such element exception let me close all the open browsers let me try to execute this if you can see here this element will is not present in the web page it has returned thrown no such element exception that element is not found so that is the reason find element method has thrown no such element exception but if you use find elements method let us see how it will behave it will return zero instead of throwing exception it will return zero let me try to run this another time if you can see here it has returned that empty list empty list is nothing but when i use length function it will return zero because there is no count empty list is nothing but zero count there are no elements if there are no elements i can say it is zero elements if you see here when i use length function it will return zero it will not throw any exception like find elements so in this way find elements method returns multiple web elements it does not throw any exception but when you use length function it will return zero because empty list is nothing but zero elements it will return zero but find element method will return no such element exception in this way you can find 
elements on the web page multiple web elements by using class name as well as tag name let us see how you can find elements uniquely on the web page so up to now we have discussed class name as well as tag name right now we will discuss css selectors very important very easy if you know id name class or any attribute then you can use these syntaxes so css selectors very important very easy please listen it carefully css selectors so these are css selectors what you are doing you are just using the combinations you are using tag name with id combination tag name with class combination and tag name with attribute combination and you are just combining this class attribute and you are using that another combination before this why we need to go for css selectors why why we need to go for css selectors see up to now we are just finding a single web element by using id name link text or partial link text but you are also finding multiple web elements by using class name as well as tag name but there may be a chance that id class attributes along with some another attributes will have same values or you can assume in this way if i want to identify an element in a complex web page only one attribute is not enough up to now you have seen you are just using by dot id by dot name by dot tag name by dot link text by dot partial link text but only one attribute is not enough different combinations of id class attribute along with the tag name very important point id class name attribute along with the tag name which is optional you will see in a while are used tag name with these combinations id class attribute so when you use this combination it is nothing but css selector cascading style sheets selector so we can write the css selectors in different ways so what is the first way you can use tag name with id combination tag name with class name combination and besides id and class name you are having multiple attributes so you can use any of the attribute like tag name with attribute combination and you can combine tag name and attribute and class this is another combination how you can combine when you are using tag name with id combination you should specify that locator should be tag name hash value of that id when you are using class tag name dot value of the class dot when you are using class combination with tag name tag name dot value of the class when you are using attribute any of the attribute you should specify that attribute which is equal to the value in the square brackets along with tag name this is the syntax actually and you can use without tag name also so without tag name means you will only take the part hash value of the id dot value of the class square bracket attribute is equal to value so tag name is optional you can use or you may not use it is your choice so tag name if i want to use tag name along with class and attribute combination you can use this combination tag name dot value of the class right tag name dot value of the class and you should specify that attribute in square brackets that's it. if you follow this syntax then cascading style sheet selector css selectors is very 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 easy very very easy and let you observe this particular uh pick which i have taken uh from the facebook you will get to know <clears throat> so in the facebook you are having email text box password text box so this is the respect to html code so when i say input it is nothing but a text box so two text boxes password text box email text box so these are the two respect to html codes and if you see every element in the html has a tag name right and each element has multiple attributes and each attribute has a value so what are the attributes type class name name id data test id placeholder as well as auto focus area label these are the attributes similarly for the password also this is the password html code and i want to identify 
email text box or password text box by CSS records. You can identify by using ID also, name also, or by using uh, class name also. But I want to identify by using CSS records, which it will uniquely identify. Suppose if I assume that facebook.com is a complex web page. If it is also not a complex web page, you can go for CSS selectors. CSS selectors will exactly identify because you are just trying to identify that element with multiple combinations. So let you take in this way. <clears throat> Suppose there is a person, Gopi. He is one of my student. Like Gopi, there are many Gopis in the class. So when I say Gopi, not only one Gopi, we'll have multiple Gopis. When I say his location, suppose he is from Dubai, right? From Dubai, Gopi will be attending to my class. Likewise, from Dubai, there are many Gopis. So, Gopi is my student. He is from Dubai. He is from so-and-so location. Like when I specify his house address, then I can uniquely identify Gopi. So what I'm doing, I'm for identifying a Gopi, which, which I want, which the Gopi I want. I'm just using the combination. I'm just using his name, first combination with the country, Dubai, right? Along with the country, I can also use his house address. If I use these combinations, name, country name, as well as the house address, then I can uniquely identify in the same way you are using multiple combinations, ID, class, attribute, that's it. So I wanted to identify email text box or password text box or any element, you can use these multiple combinations. This is the syntax. And in the syntax, you can use tag name or you can use without tag name. Tag name is optional. It is your choice. You may use or may not use, but the syntax like hash dot square bracket should be compulsory. So this is the pick of the locators which I have written. So if I am using tag name with ID combination, I have to use tag name hash value of the ID. So what is the tag name here? Suppose you take the email text box I am just want to identify. So what is the tag name here? Input is the tag name, right? Hash, if I am using the ID, what is the ID value here? Email, input hash email. If I want to identify this particular element with tag name with class combination, I can use tag name dot value of the class. So what is the tag name input? So if you see class, for this class, input to text is the value. Ta input to dot, input to text, and value of that particular class. And in these two locators, you can see tag name is optional. I have not used tag name here. Without tag name, this is, and with tag name. So these locators we will use in our automation script. Let me make you understand in a while. And if I want to use tag name with attribute combination, I have to specify that attribute and its value in the square brackets. So suppose if I want to identify email or text box only, as like you can identify the password text box also. For the email text box, you take any of the attribute. Data test ID I have taken. This is the another attribute. So for this, the value is royal email. I have specified that in square brackets along with tag name. This is the syntax. That's it. You just follow this syntax, your life will be easy. And you can use tag name as after one you can use or may, you may not use and what you are doing in the final combination tag class and attribute you are just combining value of the class as well as square brackets attribute is equal to value see input dot this is tag name dot value of the class what is the value of the class input text space underscore five five r one space underscore six l u y this is the thing and if you see here for the class you are having multiple values input text is the value space when you see space these are considered as separate values. So I'm just using only one value here. And here also you can use one value instead of this multiple values. You can use input dot input text only in the class. And you can specify that attribute in the whatever the attribute. Data test ID royal email in the square brackets. And as said, tag name is optional. So let us try to write an automation script for this by using CSS selector. If you see here, let me try to remove this and these are common for every automation script you need to import selenium and from the selenium you need to import web driver by chrome options nothing but desired options you need to initialize the driver variable and you need to open that particular browser which you want you need to maximize the browser window upon opening likewise i want to use 
multiple combinations of CS receptors. So let me take one combination. So I want to use CSS selector with tag name and ID as well as tag name with class, tag name with attribute. All right, let me comment this. So this is tag name and ID combination. This particular locator is what you are seeing. So you can identify the same locator or same web element in two ways. I will say you please wait for a same time. So this is tag name with ID combination for the CSS selectors only. Because I am just finding that element by using a CSS selector. So in the CSS selector, I have multiple combinations. Tag name with ID, tag name with class, tag name and attribute, tag name and class attribute. Let me comment this for a while. If you can observe, I am finding the element email text box. Email text box. This is the locator. When I am using CSS selector with tag name ID combination. Input hash value of the ID. That's what you are seeing here. Input hash value of the ID. I have to specify that locator in the double brackets. And for this text box, since it is a text box, it will accept some input. So that input, some random input I am just sending. And if you can observe here, as I have said, tag name is optional. So I have just identified the same element without tag name. Since tag name is optional, but the syntax hash email is compulsory. When I use tag name with ID combination, let me execute this. Let me comment one. Let me execute. Yes, it has opened this particular Facebook. It has uh, uh, find, uh, located this particular email text box and it has entered the value which I have sent. So instead of ABC, you can send your your email or the email which you want. So in the same way, since tag name is optional, you can identify hash email locator also. I have just removed tag name here. That's it. Yes, it has identified the same. In the similar way, you can use tag name with class combination. So for the class, you need to use dot value of the class. Square brackets, attribute is equal to value for tag and attribute combination. Tag and class combination is tag, dot, tag name dot value of the class. And in square brackets, you need to specify attribute and its value. You just take this as your assignment, which I have already specified in my material, so that you can understand how in how many ways you can try to find element. Up to now, we have discussed ID, name, class name, tag name, as well as link or partial link text. These are the locators which we have discussed up to. In the coming classes, we will discuss XPath along with options.